All right, here's a quick tutorial on how to use the FET electric circuit kit in case you need to do a little bit of lab makeup. Um, so if you go to the Ramble, there's a link provided to take you directly to the simulation. So if you just click on that, you should get a window that pops up. And open the Java application here. And if you're at school, you'll get those fun error messages and then here's the simulation and it's encouraging me to grab a wire so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I just click on that and I can drag it out onto the page and then by clicking on these ends I can drag them and make the wires longer or I can change the angle the little blue dots on there are to represent uh, charge carriers or electrons and so in addition to wires you have the ability to move resistors and you can adjust those as needed and so I can go ahead and construct a model of the series resistance lab I can change the values here the resistors I like that at 10 I can put that right on there and then add a second resistor in series um, right clicking on the resistor to pull up that window and then here I can type in a new value, so let's go with 20 ohms. And then again, if I right click, I can show the value of that resistor. And then add a third resistor in here. And let's make this one 50. And you can see that the color code is actually represented there as well. So if you want to bother to try to figure out how that can be deciphered. So add in a few more wires. And then instead of the power supply, here you have a battery. So I just click on that, drag it out here. And let's see, move that around a smidge. Add in a little more wire. And as soon as I connect this up, you'll notice that the electrons start flowing. Now, a little bit of nerd street cred. Uh, this is indicating the direction of electron flow which is actually opposite the direction of conventional physics current. Conventional physics current would be going from the positive terminal this way to the negative terminal. Okay, so this was a program constructed by some engineers because they like to look at the electrons. But nonetheless, here's the circuit for the series resistance lab. You can see the electrons drifting through the circuit and you can make the necessary measurements by pulling out the voltmeter and I hold the red probe to the positive side of that resistor and the black probe to this side I get a measurement for the voltage there and I can go to the next resistor and measure the voltage there and then get my voltage measurements for the last resistor here So there are my three voltage measurements. Um, and then if you need to do the total, you can just come over here and get that right at the battery itself. So I'm hooked up to nine volts. And if you notice, here in series, I've got 1.1, and I've got 2.25. So now I'm about, mm, about three and a half. And then if I come down to the last one, 5.6. So that'll roughly take me to what the source voltage was, 9 volts. So that's, again, part of the patterns that you're hopefully noticing with the series lab. Um, to change the value of the resistor, I can just right click on that. I'm sorry, change the value of the voltage. I just right click on the battery. And I can go in here, and I think one setting is five. Okay, and now if I come back over and I measure the source voltage, the battery, yep, five. And I can come over and measure my resistors. And now that I have a lower source voltage, you can see I have a lower reading for the voltage across this resistor right here. So that's at least a way you can go through and get some data to make up for the labs that you might be missing. As you can see, you can also construct parallel arrangements whereby all the resistors share connections um, here on this side, and then they're all 
shared connections here on the bottom side as well. And you can also construct combination circuits. Here I have one resistor by itself forming a connection from the positive to the negative terminal. And then over here I have two resistors forming a separate path that connects the positive to the negative terminal. So that's a combo lab. And again, um, to make measurements, I just click over here, check the voltmeter, and then I can just click and drag the probes, place them at the proper points in the circuit, and I can get a measurement for the voltage value that way. So this is a way to go through and collect data even if you're not going to be in class. Um, so give it a shot and see if you can have some success with it.